What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Wrestle Rant Studios. Coming off the top rope, elbow dropping another video to you guys right now. I said, give me the hell yeah! Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Today is a little bit of a rant, and just wanted to show off some disappointment that I was going to get into with AEW, a promotion that I usually don't talk too much about. I'm a big WWE fan. Um, I'm not someone that watches a lot of AEW, but one of the matches caught my eye from uh, last night that I just wanted to talk about. So before we get into it, make sure to like the video. If you are enjoying this kind of content, we make wrestling content almost every day on this channel. And as you can see, we're at about 400 some subscribers, trying to get to a thousand, trying to get to the grind of partner. So if you could help make our dreams come true on this channel and subscribe, it would be uh, it would mean a lot to get us to that number. Um, and also at any point, comment some things if you agree or disagree on the video. But that being said, last night, AEW had a match. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre death match, which sounds like something out of late 80s WCW. They had a ton of matches like this back in the day, strap matches, and uh, there was a literal match before where it was in a moving like pig pen. Uh, there's been electrocution, electric chair matches. They, there was a lot of matches like that back in the day. But AEW had the Texas Chainsaw Massacre match with Jeff Jarrett and Jeff Hardy. So the two Jeffs facing off started backstage. And at first I was wondering, what is this about? What's going on with this? I watched the match. Um, but what really upset me was... At some point, Leatherface comes out randomly with a, a chainsaw that you would see at like a haunted house where they come by and there's there's like a wooden tip on it and it makes noise, but it doesn't actually do anything. And he comes out, he's wielding it, and everyone's running away, and it's very hokey and gimmicky. And first of all, the guy playing Leatherface was probably about 5'10", 100, 130 pounds. Could have had a bigger guy. But the fact that AEW is doing this with promotion really upsets me because when they first came out uh the cons really made sure they'd say we're not going to be a gimmicky organization our belts are going to be the best looking belts we're never going to just bow down to things and trends and here they are promoting a game the whole reason they did this match the whole reason they did this whole entire bit and, and created a brand new quote-unquote quote championship belt was because they were promoting the Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. Now, I don't mind if you're promoting an AEW video game. That's, of course, fine. Or you have some sponsors. But to make an entire match out of a video game that has nothing to do with wrestling is ridiculous. Now, this is no hate towards the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Love it. I've been a big fan for a while. Um, I totally understand if you like the belt design and want to pick one up. That's totally fine. I'm not blaming you as a fan. But I'm blaming AEW for doing this because it's cheap, okay? And I know you might be saying, oh, well, Ryan, they're going to donate the money to Maui uh, Relief Fund, and that's great. Of course, but they probably had to do that so they didn't get backlash. I just think it's ridiculous, though, to have a company like AEW that has all of the money and funding in the world to be doing brand deals like this because when is it what's going to happen now we're going to have sonic the hedgehog come out and do a sonic boom match where he's going to come out and throw and collect coins at different wrestlers or are we going to have some sort of gta 5 match where you come in and you you, you know you come in with uh, uh the godfather and try to collect prostitutes from the ring like where is this going to end um I just think it's very gimmicky, and it basically goes against what AEW has said they were going to be from the beginning. Not a sellout. And this, to me, is a sellout move. It was very corny. It was very stupid. They tried to make uh, you fear Leatherface when he came out, like this guy was actually going to do something. It did absolutely nothing. It added nothing to the match. And Jeff Jarrett won. Whoop-de-doo. God bless Jeff Jarrett. He's 
still doing his thing. No hate to him. He's got to be in his late 50s now. But it, to me, it's just showing that AEW is going down a direction creatively that reminds me of mid to late WCW, late 80s, and then when things were going really bad in the late 90s, early 2000s, when they ultimately went under. It feels like they are going down that route in so many different storylines. You know, besides MJF, who is is amazing, um, there's not much that I look forward to with that company and things like this really deter me and if you didn't see the belt I mean it's ridiculous I'm sorry if you're a horror fan sure great good for you if you want it I totally respect that but as a wrestling fan I love the the gold belts I love classic belts the big gold from WCW or the heavyweight championship or the winged eagle um, the intercontinental belts but now in AEW, just have a leather face belt. It's just red with leather face on it. What's the point? What's the point of it? There is no point. You're just going to start creating belts for everything, right? Let's let's have the Sesame Street belt. Why don't we do that? Let's bring on Sesame Street. Let's put Big Bird on the belt. You know, let's do a belt for Jeopardy, right? Let's do any show. Price is right. Let's just make a belt belt for anything and call it a brand. And I just think that's stupid and it's going down a dangerous path because if they keep up with this and just keep adding these belts, it's just going to come across as nothing but a cheap money grab. And I just don't like it because they made sure when AEW first started, the Young Bucks said, we are going to have high appeal for all of our belts. We are going to have the best belts in the industry. We take it high with pride. Well, guess what? That is not the case anymore, and I know that was years ago, but it just shows how quickly things can change. So, look, maybe I'm wrong here. If you liked the match, if you liked the gimmick in the belt, um, that is your opinion, and you are, you are right in that opinion. There is no right, uh, right or wrong opinion here, but I just feel like things are going to start getting really silly in AEW if they continue down this path of making matches based off of video games and movies. That's just not the route that I would want to go as a wrestling fan. And that's usually why I don't watch AEW. Uh, all respect to All Elite and their athletes and the wrestlers there. I know they work their butts off, but to me, that was just really ridiculous. So if you did agree with this, make sure to give this video a like. And once again, comment your opinion. Your comments mean a lot. They go a long way. And as I said earlier, if you're still here, hey, make sure to subscribe. You're getting wrestling content almost every day on this channel. And we'd really appreciate your support. That's it. That's Ryan signing off from the top rope for WrestleRant Studios. Give me the hell, yeah.